Do you need to create a well-designed brand kit? In this video, I'm gonna show you my process and provide you with a free template so you can follow along. Before we get started, I wanna let you know that you can download my brand kit content capture template for free from my website at bricetufts.com under the resources tab and follow along with this video. This template should help give us a good idea of what our brand kit should look like before either designing it ourselves or handing it off to somebody else. If you downloaded the template from my website, it should look something like this. You can see at the top here, I've added a section for a title and any information important for your project so you can keep track of where you're at. Next up is the basic information section. So we're gonna have a lot of repetitive information throughout this process. So we're just gonna put it in one place up here in the exact style that we'd like to have it in all of our content so we can keep track of it. We also wanna make sure that when we're putting our information in here, that it's in the exact format that we wanna see in all of our touch points. That includes parentheses or periods, capitals or lowercase, anything that's gonna to pertain to the format of our information. For example, do we want parentheses around our phone number or do we wanna separate out the numbers by periods? Or do we want our website to be separated by capitals or do we want all lowercase? This section is split up into the organization and the members. So we're gonna make sure that we record the exact name of the organization here, the exact phone number, fax number, email, website, address, social media info, registration numbers, or anything else that's important to our business. Under the member section, we're gonna record the information of each member who's receiving their own branded materials. So we can see here that I've added my name, title, phone number, email, website, address, and social media info. In this video, I'm only gonna be tackling four of the brand touch points, my business cards, letterhead, envelope, and email signature. So in the first section, business cards, we're gonna record all of our basic information. So how many people need personalized business cards? It's just gonna be me, so I've said one. The next question is what dimensions do we need for our business cards? The typical dimensions are 3.5 by two inches, and I'm just gonna keep with that standard. Next up, we're gonna ask ourselves if there's any specific printing requirements that we need for our business cards. And I've specified that I want a 16 point silk laminated spot UV. If you have any questions about different materials or printing options, you should be able to go to most printing websites or local print shops, and they'll have some examples for you to look through. Next up, we wanna ask ourselves how many cards we're gonna need. And I've specified that I'm gonna need 2,000 cards right off the bat. Now we wanna focus on the front and back side of the card and make sure that we've recorded all the information that we're gonna to need to be there. For the front side of the card, I've specified that I want my name, title, phone number, email, website address, and social media info. For the back side of the card, I specified that I want my Votech logo variant and I want my tagline somewhere. I haven't specified what artwork I want because I'm not really sure yet. Now lastly in this section, we're gonna pull some examples that we can look at and draw inspiration from later. If we click on these, we can see that I've added two links to business cards that I really like and I would like my brand to emulate. Next up is the letterhead section. And just like in the last section, the first thing we're gonna tackle is our basic information. The first question we have are how many people need personalized letterheads? And it's just gonna be me, so one. Next up, we're gonna ask ourselves what size of letterheads do we need? And that's typically an 8.5 by 11 inch, which is the standard I'm gonna go with. Next up, we're gonna ask ourselves if there's any specific printing styles we need. I've said I want a basic 20 pound bond paper with no unique finish. And lastly, we wanna specify our order number and I've said 4,000 letterheads to get me started. Next up, we'll review what content we want on our letterheads, and I've said that I want my name, title, phone number, email, website, and address all included. And lastly in this section, I've just included some examples of letterheads that I really liked and I feel it'll work well for my brand. Next up, we have the envelope. So once again, we're gonna go through our basic information. It's just gonna be me that needs a personalized envelope. For the next question, how many envelopes are you gonna need? I'm gonna get the same number of envelopes as I did letterheads, which is 4,000. For the content section, I've just specified that I want my name, title, and address on the envelopes. And lastly, in the example section, I've pulled an envelope that I really liked and I feel it worked well for my brand. And lastly, here we have our email signature section. So once again, I've specified that it's just gonna be me receiving a personalized email signature. For the details on that signature, I've said it's just gonna be my name, title, phone number, email, website, address, and social media info. And lastly, once again, I've pulled a reference from my email signature that I really liked Liked and I want to reference later when designing. And with that, we should have enough direction to design our brand kit, which I'm going to be doing in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it was helpful to you, please leave a like. And if you have any questions about the branding process, please leave them as a comment below. Also, like I mentioned earlier, I have a library of free resources on my website at brycetufts.com under the resources tab. There you'll find workbooks, worksheets, and guides to help you along your process. Lastly, this video is part of a series where I design a brand from beginning to end and walk you through my process. If you'd like to see more of those videos, please subscribe and I'll be posting them soon. And with that, thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.